Hello all, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. I am a senior consultant in the field of neuroanesthesiology and today we have Dr. Karthik with us. He is a famous Instagrammer and a lot of following is there for Karthik in YouTube and Instagram. So today I requested him for a very special video for all of you guys because the counseling uh, you know, season has started. So many people are messaging me. So what we thought is we will discuss what are the pros and cons in taking up MD or DNB or Diploma in Anesthesia today so that you can uh, take your decision after listening to our video. Welcome to the channel, Dr. Karthik. Thank you, sir. Thank you for inviting me once again. And uh, also thank you for your humble words. Uh, as a short introduction to myself, yeah, hello, guys. So my name is Dr. Karthik Digutla. I have completed MBBS followed by MD in anesthesia. And currently I'm working as a consultant at uh, Asian Institute of Gastroenterology in, here in Hyderabad. So the main motto of this video would be to help uh, MBBS students especially to get an informed decision about their counseling and whether or not to choose anesthesiology as your career particularly. So without wasting any time, we'll get started into the video. Yes. The first question would be what are the pros of taking up anesthesia as a career? I want you to answer and then I'll add my points to that. Sure, sure, sir. According to me, there are only pros, sir. There are no cons. I'll tell you, there are a few cons and I converted them into pros again. Okay. So as as far as I am concerned, there are only pros selecting anesthesia. So the first thing would be, it's a diverse subspecialty, sir. Anesthesia uh, is a di diverse subspecialty. There are many options when you enter the zone of anesthesia because one surgeon will do only one specialty, but one anesthetist will be linked to multiple surgeons. They'll be doing multiple procedures across and around the hospital. There are plenty of options. So the diversity in the branch is excellent, which is not there in any other branch. That is one primitive thing I would like to say. And the second thing is no anesthetist, no surgery. That is an important thing. So there is a high demand for anesthesia any time across the globe. So whenever a surgery is going to be performed, anesthetist is needed. So as long as the surgeries are getting performed, anesthesia career is there forever. So your job is secured. So your job is secured. And the next thing is you will have an overall personality development and also you will develop good decision making skills when you once you have joined anesthesia. So this will give you a good leadership qualities. And you can become a prime member in wherever, whichever institute you are working. You can become the superintendent of the hospital. You can become the dean of the hospitals. Uh, that is because of the uh, uh, qualities that the branch will uh, eventually develop in you by the end of your course or uh, end of your career is concerned. So that is the next thing. And then there are global opportunities in anesthesia. Whoever is looking forward to go abroad especially like uh, Gulf countries, UK, US, Germany, or anywhere, especially sir will can guide you better about this. And there are many videos on this, which sir have already put in his channel. So there is a wide uh, scope for going abroad and practicing in this. And also you will have good professional network developing in this branch because you'll be dealing with many uh, surgical branches, obstetricians, then you'll be dealing with cardiologist in the cat lab okay so these network of things will help you in building a hospital along with them if you are interested in starting a new setup of hospital then you can happily contribute and you can have your own department along with them and with the leadership skills you have you will be a main part in the you will play an important part when constructing a new hospital or building up a new setup that, so that is it and there is one thing which uh, could be a pro or could be a con, which will depend upon the individual's choice, which is work-life balance. So to balance work and life will be an individual's choice. Few people are very workaholics. They would like to work for 16 to 18 hours or even 20 hours a day. There are few people. And there are few people who can work for 7 to 8 hours of the day. And the remaining time they would like to spend for their personal time or they would like to sleep, watch TV, Netflix, or anything. So it depends upon you. It depends upon the amount of money you want to earn. It depends upon your financial situations. 
it depends upon like what kind of a family you are living in what kind of a city or a town you are re- re- uh, like living in so the work life balance will depend on you it's not just in anesthesia in any branch the work life balance you should not uh, uh, not ask that question or as far as i am concerned because it will be an individual choice to build up your own work life balance so these are the main pros which i consider and and some things which are cons for others but still pros for me so one thing is you are you will not be the primary consultant this is one con so anesthetist will never be the primary consultant the diagnosis will be done by someone then the workup will be done by someone and then the patient comes to you for the pre anesthetic checkup and anesthesia follow up so you will not be the primary consultant to the patient you will not be the face of the uh, disease or the face for the patient as a consultant any time but i feel uh, that is good for me i especially if you are interested in doing a medical diagnosis only the person who does a diagnosis is a doctor if you consider like that then you should definitely uh, reconsider opting anesthesia you can choose medicine surgery or anything but if you are not particular particular about that then definitely you can go up for anesthesia i was not particular about those things so that was not a con for me to be a primary consultant because i know the importance of my work in the field i know uh, the importance of a multidisciplinary approach for treating any disease so in that perspective i don't believe that you have to be a primary consultant it's like you have crossed the gate but there is a main door before you reach enter into the house so you might be the main door you're not the gate so it need not be like that in that sense you can understand and then the second con is dealing with stress uh, in anesthesia 90% of the time you will be happy you will be calm or you might get bored of bored also sometimes like keeping on monitoring but 10% of the time you will be in stressful conditions you will your heart rate will be raising above 100 and uh, you will have a adrenaline rush uh, dealing in the stressful situations but that will help you to prepare for the future conditions when uh, when you have to go through a stressful condition you already got acclimatized to such a situation and now you can cope up well to that situations compared to the other uh, branches or other residents you like you will learn to stay calm under pressure that is very important you, have, you already know ms dhoni how he stays in the gre- like ground even on the final match of uh, of cricket similarly we as anesthesiologists play a similar role uh when you compare to the other departments we'll learn to stay calm under pressure it will also help you in your personal life so that is not a con for me even and uh and also uh, what i would like to say is uh, uh another con is what people say is a financial uh, situations maybe so uh, maybe the surgeons or the physicians are earning more compared to anesthesiologists it is never like that uh anesthesiologists are earning very well in their branches and comparable to the other branches and we'll discuss about the financial things later on in this video there is a we'll discuss as a separate segment like the financial things and one more con is uh anesthetists are under appreciated when compared to surgeons but again this is not a con for me if you are expecting appreciation from a patient that is that was not my priority if that is your priority maybe you should not be in this branch you can you should opt some other uh, op branch maybe and you have to be like uh, excellent in that treating that patient good hands with the patient then only you will get appreciated wherever you are getting appreciation uh, there is high chance that patient might not feel good about you also sometimes when they won't get treated properly so and comparing under appreciation to the other branches you can also see the pathologists the radiologists and we anesthetists we play an important role in uh, treating the disease and curing the disease completely but that is okay for me to you know uh, under appreciated because i was that was not my primary concern any time so all these cons were there but for me i have turned them into pros pros and if you also can do this then definitely anesthesia is an excellent branch and you can go forward for it
so do you want to add something yeah. sir see see you covered almost most of the pros but i think one more thing i would like to add is the uh, entry into intensive care medicine also is there so you can Correct. do md in anesthesia or even a diploma in anesthesia also uh, idccm yes. uh, they have some eligibility for two years they have to do md and other people can do one year adec and dm yes. drnb is there so in these uh, yes. critical care aspect uh, you will have good patient exposure and also you know Correct. with kids actually you gain lot of knowledge and i'm seeing lot of Correct. people entering into intensive care are becoming lead consultants mm-hmm. in big big corporate hospitals Correct. they are uh, very valued very high and also anesthesia like it's an ever evolving branch so since decades anesthesia has been evolving new branches have been coming in so for those who are interested in research also there is a very good scope sir there is excellent scope and there is also excellent scope in innovation also learning new technologies learning new techniques and teaching them so those who are interested in teaching and doing research doing some innovation then anesthesia is a go to branch for them also so so now actually more and more uh, toppers are taking anesthesia I recently analyzed the first uh, 10000 ranks and in that i yes, found sir. around uh, not 100 to 200 uh, people have chosen anesthesia which was not there before yes yes so one before it was not yeah, it was not there so what what is changing right. once bright guys start taking the any speciality things will slowly uh, keep changing so the glamour right, right. will change pros pros another thing so these are all the pros and uh, cons if you ask me uh, the salary initially the salary, salary part we'll discuss now yeah. so sure, sure. salary is uh, Uh, initial salaries are actually better than surgeons and physicians and um, correct ent ophthal radiation oncology radio more than all that you will actually get a better initial salary when you join a hospital yes, yes. or a, see corporate correct. hospitals are different but uh, if you are working yes, at yes. home or a freelancing you are doing you can earn a very good yes, uh, initial salary there by doing lot of cases and i personally did lot of videos i did surveys and spoke to many of my friends initial salary is very good but after that what happens is it reaches a plateau so if you yes. ask me how many years does it take it takes around uh, you know 8 to 10 years and till 8 to 10 years it will grow you will take a lead position correct. that it reaches a salary yes. the reason is uh, you are not a revenue generator for a hospital you are a service provider correct. true that true. is the reason every In that aspect it is true so that advantage yes. other physicians have but here there is one more math actually if for example if 100 general medicine people pass out so okay. if you see a very successful general physician who is driving a mercedes or a, you know bmw i think only like yes. 7 to 10% of the people would go to that level yes in anesthesia what yes, happens yes. is around 50 to 60% of people who can actually go to upper margin because the hospital uh, will need at least 8 to 10 consultants of uh, anesthesia correct, correct. hospital but one to two major consultants in any specialty is enough like medicine surgery neurosurgery gastro surgery you see any bigger hospitals one or two will be there mm. yes yes sir under them only associates and all those people will be there and uh, but in anesthesia you observe 8 to uh, 12 consultants would be there who are earning a big amount yes. of salary so percentages if you see 50 to 60% of anesthetists can reach the consultant position okay maybe that yes, is 40% yes. wouldn't yes. reach based on their personality and background and all that so earning wise significant uh, percentage of people would earn good salary in that p- broader perspective if you see compared to other yeah. specialties you want to add something no? but uh, like uh, maybe our audience or mba students might be might want to know their figures also to be yes. precise like what you. is the minimum or what would they what would they what would so they md anesthesia if you do see tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 if you divide tier 1 is mm-hmm. uh, metros like you and we yes. both are in tier 1 now so tier 1 of md okay. anesthesia dnb anesthesia there is no difference guys there is no difference almost same salary you'll get uh, so around mm-hmm. a lakh to 1.3 lakhs is what they can expect initially so it is immediately like, like post md dnb they can get up from anywhere between 90 to 1.3 to definitely 1.3. possible so the reason is training according to me see post md yes Correct. First two, two to three years, it's it's it should be considered as a training only. So because independently correct, correct. you wouldn't be giving anesthesia for the uh, you know level of skills a major corporate wants. So you have to consider that as training, and you're getting paid also. Correct. You have to take it up like yes. that. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. You can tell. You can extended add in- residency. You should consider it as an extended residency program and. <laughs> 
for one more year you have to work as a pg in the corporate to learn the, that additional skills that would they would expect because it is and a, uh, what i feel yeah you to you please and financially i feel uh, uh, like what you said it differs from tier 1 to tier 2 th- from state to state also it will differ and also from hospital to hospital setup to setup also the finances definitely differs it depends upon your skill set and the amount of experience also so minimum you are going to get like 1 lakh you'll get for sure and once your cadre increases your experience increases like it can go from 1.5 to 2.5 also once you become the professor or hod level and uh, yeah slowly you will uh, and one thing is like night shift we have to discuss in the cons also because night shifts could be hectic sometimes like there is no op in the night so the op physicians are cool and then there is uh, surgeries will be going on but if there is one surgery only one surgeon is doing that and after that surgery is ready to go anywhere and sleep but an- we as anesthetists will be oper- uh, monitoring the sicu will be monitoring the surgery and also we have to go on call for all those cannulas or uh, all those difficult intubation central lines so it's not that we have a single role since we have multiple roles uh, designated to us so during the whole night shift we might be busy and the whole positive of will go for sleep yeah. so that's one thing uh, is there uh, considering anesthesia you have to remember about night shifts and uh, there is a good scope for locum duties also in anesthesia or freelancing what we call so additionally to what salary you are already getting somewhere you have extra edge whenever you want like if you want to go for a trip of 25 to 30000 just you can do a four or five night duties somewhere at a good setup and you can uh, afford a good trip yeah, like in, not taking from your salary your, yeah. around 8 to 10000 they give a per shift yes yes it is like uh, duties are becoming very common actually even in uh, uh, bigger bigger hospitals also uh, because i don't yes, yes. we are producing around 6500 anesthesiologists in india per year correct correct including yes yes we want people we don't get that is what i don't understand whether we are saturated or not yeah. saturated i de- really don't <laughs> understand this i don't think we are saturated so then new hospitals coming up and there are a lot of government medical colleges also coming up the scope uh, for a job is very high sir yeah the scope for a job is very i don't think it is saturated yet in fact it is expanding as sub specialties now hmm. so the requirement is actually increasing since our roles are also increasing exponentially now it is getting tough to find general anesthetists like if you really want a sub specialty person it somehow there is a way ah. to catch general anesthetists even in our hospital we need some general anesthesia you know in a junior level yes, mid level different levels we would require so i don't think yes, this yes. specialty is saturated in any hospital i inquire my friends who are in lead positions they all would say one thing in common we need at least one person two person three people or something like that they would be saying so uh, surely yes, yes. Uh, there is for another 5 to 10 years minimum guarantee is there it won't get saturated it won't get saturated yes and uh, next i think if you can talk we can tell about the future prospects yeah. like most of the people think anesthesia is an end brand sir yeah so uh, but there are a lot of fellowship options and also there are a lot of dm or drnb options also and uh, if we talk about the fellowship options there are uh, a few fellow good fellowships like uh, cardiac anesthesia fellowship neuro anesthesia fellowship then there is onco anesthesia pediatric anesthesia transplant anesthesia is giving uh, fellowship and uh, regional anesthesia fellowship is there pain medicine fellowship is there so there is a scope for all these good fellowships as an extended uh, thing that you can add to your cv once uh, you have done your md dnb and also after uh, md you can also go for a super specialty which will be a 3 year course and there are a few good dm specialties also like neuro anesthesia yeah, you, uh, you can talk a few words about neuro anesthesia so you like you are an expert in that and there is also cardiac then organ organ transplant pediatric neonatal anesthesia is there there is critical care uh, opportunity as a dm for anesthetists along with general medicine people you can compete for the same exam and you can crack the critical care uh, entrance and then there is pain medicine in aims rishikesh i guess 
there is dm pain of 3 year course for even pain and uh, yeah yeah I, i think you can yeah, tell like a few you, words you about it i will tell my opinion which is little yes. different so what happens now is yes, yes. when i did, did dm in iran anesthesia i am the third batch in india in 2000 mm-hmm. uh, 13 i did my dm so that time when i was doing it is like a new thing actually neuro anesthesia dms and all yes, that so yes. what i recommend is see yeah. now you should not do dm in neuro anesthesia because so many batches of people mm. have come out so what you should do is yeah. something new you have to do something yes yes so i don't know correct, what correct. you whether you want to go to palliative side or uh, maybe some mm. different some new uh, area you have to take you have to practice general anesthesia along with that you have to develop yes. something new that's why in my videos i'll tell long co anesthesia or something mm. something new you try is what i recommend yes correct correct sir. so wherever what? you go whatever sub specialty you take uh, once you gain the expertise then uh, it yeah. will you can become a good teacher also sir like uh, uh, the future prospect will go towards teaching you will attend conference you'll become the faculty and you will head a few uh, uh, programs also in the country so the arc of your career will be like completely different uh, once you do a super specialty or a sub specialty uh, rather than being uh, ending as a general so i feel uh, anesthesia is not any more a uh, end branch everybody is doing sub specialties and there is a lot of scope beyond md and dnb even in anesthesia that is the take home point. that is that is yes. there but in super specialty if you are choosing you have to have pure passion just for the sake of dm right. see some people tell that if you do dm uh, our salary will increase sir is, is what they tell that is correct that uh, happen but that is not the way to take dm dm should be taken only correct, correct. towards the subject sometimes i don't see my yes. clock only i'll keep working keep working i'll be lost in the case sometimes correct. 16 hours yes, yes, or sometimes i'll sleep in the hospital and go next day morning so if you have passion like yeah. that you have to come into a super specialty otherwise correct. general anesthesia is safer i feel sometimes <laughs> true true yeah so this is my true, op- my opinion So over period of time, my opinions are changing. Even my videos also, my opinions are changing over period of time. Please follow my latest <laughs> videos, please. <laughs> correct, correct. <laughs> so you should follow the videos which are in the past well, six, six months. months one early, yeah. yeah. So that is the thing. Because the scope of anesthesia is also changing in a similar way, sir. Yeah, it like is. Like as yeah. too many people are pouring in into the branch. Yeah. And they are diverging into different parts. So... the prospects are definitely changing every year by year yes uh, you have to differentiate yourself as a anesthesia yes, so true, that, true. Uh, correct so th- these are the pros we discussed the pros cons finances so then i would like to tell the uh, upper scale till where you can go up in salaries i know there are yes. some anesthesiologists in the country uh, maybe uh, i can tell maybe a 50 to 100 would be there in that level around 8 to 12 lakhs of salary also they would get in a month not in a year in a month, per month. yeah so okay. that, that is a maximum scale you can reach but that needs like from this from salary only sir or in like it will uh, be uh, so it will be like uh, in multiple ways so the how it works in a bigger centers are so your total revenue would be calculated how much is being generated from uh, okay. the particular department okay. so in that uh, okay. revenue you will have a share in the revenue something like that would be going on okay so all most okay. of the corporates and most of the you know other bigger hospitals where like 30 40 people are there for example like mm. any big corporate you take 30 people would be there in anesthesia so then correct, they correct. separate a pool of uh, uh, money generated by the department yeah in that in a high level basis they will take so i know some of the guys Not. take that kind of salaries also in india correct and correct you few yeah. guys actually work hard but those guys I, i met most of them they are very passionate you meet them they're different okay. passion they're like different vibe of people they're different. true true they're they're different. i met some people really yes yes sir. yeah so everybody can everybody can't reach that level but that is a potential yeah like somebody from you also can reach that potential yes So yes. there is a hope, uh, uh, and <coughs> for that you have to have passion, and uh, don't work by the clock, and uh, you will reach that position. But at the same time, if you have some entrepreneurial interest, like how me and Karthik have, you can also build something parallelly. Anesthesia will give you that opportunity for you. Correct, no Karthik? You can be able to do all this. Yes, yes. 
that's what there that is what i was uh, trying to say there is a lot of scope for research and innovation left in anesthesia mm-hmm. there are so many things to try whatever new you try in anesthesia that that will be new to the branch correct there are many things which people haven't touched yet so there is a lot of scope if you if you are you know if you have a creative mind if you have, have an innovative thought then this is the branch you should go forward there is a lot of scope for gadgets coming in techniques coming in maybe <clears throat> maybe you can have a technique named by named after you in anesthesia there are a lot of indian textbooks and all to be written in anesthesia there is there are very few textbooks in anesthesia which are written by indian authors so in that way there is a lot of scope there will be a page for you in the history if you can <laughs> make a good career in anesthesia that scope is still there yes uh, so mostly in uh, six months one year i'll form a patent uh, startup something like that so we can you know from our subscribers only we can actually call some of them who is interested in doing patents and then uh, yes, we yes. can form as a team we can develop our own sure. meeting we can develop patents in future we can do like that in- yes 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 which is Absolutely. what you rightly told india is lacking in that we'll develop that that yeah. also- that is why we our we, uh, we both are there we should actually take initiative i think in those kind of things yes yes sir definitely definitely okay then uh, i think we have summarized now you guys have to decide whether you want to enter this special yeah. or not <laughs> <laughs> i think we i try to solve most of the questions sir yeah if there are anything left also they can definitely comment down and uh, we'll get back again or you can directly contact us through instagram or yes. any channel that uh, if you want and uh, as a final word what would you would like to say sir as a final word is uh, anesthesia as a specialty if you many people are asking me comparisons actually for comparison sake i'll tell you you see uh, like uh, for example medicine surgery you know all these specialties if you take i already told you like uh, you know the percentage of people succeeding is what you have to see not one person one person yes. will drive jaguar and you'll see that fellow scar and you'll be thinking all mm-hmm. medicine people are like that so you shouldn't yes, see yes. that way that's a misconception percentage of yes. people are succeeding is more in anesthesia that is what i'm trying to tell mm. correct correct so there is a good chance that if you enter this branch yeah minimum guarantee yes. <laughs> what you can tell yes. <laughs> but other branches you might not be in the 10% of the successful people correct yes. yes so what your final and statement then, yes sir. uh the like uh, can uh, i mean considering the main actual motto of this video what i feel is there are three scenarios about choosing anesthesia as a career so do not choose anesthesia like uh, if you have interest in any particular plan, branch like you want to take up medicine if you want to take up radiology only if that is a sense then better not take anesthesia that is one thing second thing if you have a very strong reason why you should not take up anesthesia due to some reason then you should then you will definitely not take anesthesia as your career and the third thing what i feel is uh, like if you don't have uh, or uh, give me a second like uh, if you don't have any reason not to take up anesthesia as a career then take up anesthesia Maybe. you're not getting other branches you don't have any branch of interest anesthesia will definitely be a very good option for you and definitely with 100% surety i'm telling you you won't regret after taking anesthesia because during your mbbs days or during your internship you will not have much knowledge about anesthesia and like you will completely ignore this branch but i'm telling you you won't regret after coming to anesthesia this is an excellent branch you can definitely go forward if you are in a dilemma whether to take or not i'm telling you you can take because you don't have any re- reason not to take don't listen to others uh, as uh, two career guides for you we both are telling you you can take up anesthesia without any regrets that is a uh, take home message from my side sir superb ultimate and uh, so i think they understood now so whoever wants to take up anesthesia this will be the go to video and uh, so i think we will wrap up the session now thank you yes, thank yes, you guys yes, thank yes, you karthik yes. for coming into the channel and uh, you sure, know this yes. video will help so many so many people 
and uh, all your comments you put in the comment section thank you very much guys sure. thank you all yeah thank you thank you so much sir for the opportunity thank you guys thank you